less than a year into the pandemic, multiple COVID vaccines received emergency use authorization. And now, as Jared just showed us, efforts are underway to get vaccine doses not only into the arms of Americans, but into people around the world. Joining us to talk about how we got here from development to the rollout, someone who knows a lot about vaccines, Dr. Peter Salk, president of the Jonas Salk Legacy Foundation. Thank you for joining us. Virginia, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, I want to ask you, a year ago, you were cautious about the vaccines under development then, quoted as saying it was important not to try to go too quickly. You're a proponent now. At what point did that change for you? After seeing the data, I really was concerned early on that there might be a possibility of the vaccines making matters worse. We've seen that kind of thing before, um, and I just wanted things to go very cautiously, and they have. And we have just not seen that kind of outcome. The vaccines have been extremely effective when they're used appropriately. And I think that we can rely on them to help get us out of the situation that we have been in, not only in this country, but when there's enough vaccine around the world. At age nine, you became a vaccine pioneer. You were in the first wave of people your father vaccinated for polio. What do you want to say to people who are still hesitant? I think that we can be relaxed about these vaccines at this point. It makes a huge difference in our own lives to be able to be protected, to associate now to be seeing again for someone who has been as careful as I have and as my wife has been, to be able to see and hug relatives and close friends who've been fully vaccinated. That has absolutely transformed our life after a year of, of isolation. I know that many people have not been that cautious. Many people have not taken precautions. Some of those people have made it through just fine, but others have not. We have an opportunity now to close the door on this pandemic for ourselves, for our family, for our loved ones and friends, for our community, for the country, for the world. Let's do it. Now, the Salk name, synonymous with vaccines, carries a lot of weight here. You talked about vaccinating yourself for others. So not just for yourself, but that if we're trying to reach herd immunity and there are some people who cannot be vaccinated, let's say for medical reasons, you want people to do it for other people as well. Is that what you're saying? Oh, there's, there's no question about that. It's been that way for so many years. The diseases that we've been faced with, like whooping cough and so on, vaccination has not only been for ourselves, it's been to protect others in the community who can't be vaccinated. It's the same thing now. If you get a vaccine, you can feel really good that you're making a contribution for other people who are not so fortunate as to be able to be vaccinated or vaccinated successfully. This new technology in the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, the mRNA tech, what are your thoughts on that? Because obviously this is a revolution compared to what your father did, which was a revolution back then, but a different tech. I, I am so pleased with what has happened. The results with these RNA vaccines are extraordinary. They were able to be developed within record time and are now positioned if some variants come along that the initial vaccines won't protect against. Very quickly, changes can be made in the vaccine in order to protect against the new variants. So this is a technology that is really changing the face of, of vaccines. You mentioned that it is also not the time to drop our guard. So masks, social distancing, and just being careful at this point. When do you foresee that we might be able to get rid of those precautions? It's not yet in my personal view. I'm gonna to continue to be careful for myself, wearing a mask in public places. And I think that it's wise for everyone still to be cautious until the, the cases have dropped much, much more, and we know that we've got this, this, the door closed on this pandemic. So I'd say continue to be careful. Listen to the CDC. The CDC is going to make recommendations based on careful evaluation and follow their guidelines. When the time comes, we, we will know that someone will have been saying to us, uh, the governor or what have you in California, now is the time. It's going to be okay. Dr. Peter Salk. President of the Jonas Salk Legacy Foundation, thank you so much for sharing your insights, and it's so good to see you doing well. Thank you, Virginia. You too.